Today we're going to talk about upgrading Helm release. Perhaps you developed a new version of the application and want to upgrade it or you added or modified Kubernetes components such as service, ingress or any other object. You can follow along and you can find all the instructions in devopsbyexample.io and the link will be in the YouTube description and also all the code will be available in GitHub repository. So let's get started by creating a new Helm. We're gonna call it uh, app. And let's take a look what we have now. So we have the default Helm chart without any modifications. And by default, it uses the Nginx as an example and provides some default values. And now let's uh, create another window, terminal window, and run watch kubectl get pods in default namespace. All right, so in order to install the Helm, you can use a Helm install command and then provide dry run. Uh, this will simulate the installation and will print it out all the YAML objects that will be created in Kubernetes. And also you can use set command to um, specify what version of the application you want to use. In our case, I'm going to be using the old version of 1.19.3 and dash N. This stands for default namespace and the Helm release will be, the name for the Helm release will be app. And this is the directory where the Helm is located. So let's try in dry run mode. And we're going to see that uh, it will show all the objects. So it's going to say that it's going to be deployed in default namespace. It will create the port to test connection for our Helm. Then it also will create the service account, uh, service.yaml and uh, deployment. So all those objects will be created. Now let's run exactly the same command, but with dry run in order to install the Helm chart. And you will see that the chart was installed successfully. And now the app is running and we can list all the Helm charts in default namespace by running Helm LS dash n default. Unfortunately, this command will not show exactly the version of the application. As you can see, the app version comes from the chart.yaml from uh, here. And there is no easy way to update this value. Other than that, just to replace that version in that, uh, in that file itself. In order to verify what version of the app we just deployed, we can run kubectl get pods in the folder space. And then we can specify uh, what value we want to see. For example, uh, this will give us exactly the um, image uh, for that particular pod, for this pod, app pod. And this will be the version 1.19.3. So there are multiple ways and multiple flags that you can uh, provide when you upgrade the Helm. For example, you can use Atomic and it will uh, wait and verify that all the, all the components will be deployed and all the ports uh, will pass the health check. And also you can leverage the test to like a smoke test that can verify your uh, helm and make sure that it's successfully deployed also you can run clean up on fail so if you deploy it and the helm fails by default behavior that it just keep it there but we don't want it but if you provide this plug it will just delete all those resources including the pods and this flag force this force is a little bit dangerous and it's not gonna wait till the helm is upgraded and new application will pass all the health check, it just will recreate those pods. So you have to be very careful with this particular flag. So let's uh, use the regular command and let's upgrade it. And we can use helm, uh, helm upgrade command and set the new version. The previous was uh, 1.19.3 and this one is uh, .4. So let's upgrade the helm. And we know that this version is, is exists and it will successfully upgrade the Helm chart. And when the port will be in ready state, it will terminate the old version of the application. As you can see here. In order to verify what version of the application was deployed just now, we can run the same command, keep still get ports. And we can see that the version was upgraded to 1.19.4.
You can also use rollback command and it will roll back to the previous Helm version. So if you run this command, uh, it will roll back to the previous uh, 1.19.3 Nginx version. Let's check that now it's the old version. Okay, it's 19.3. And I want to show you the last command, the Helm upgrade set. We're gonna, in this case, we're gonna uh, provide the wrong version of the application. So this uh, version does not exist and the Helm will fail to upgrade. And I'm gonna default timeout is set to five minutes. I, I just don't want to wait five minutes. I set it for one minute. And at Atomic will indicate that it will wait and verify that all the components successfully deployed. And this flag clean up on fail. It will, if the Helm fail, fails to upgrade, but it will definitely because we're gonna specify the wrong version. In one minute, it will clean up all the resources that it created in new Helm release. And this is pretty much the same default namespace, the release that we're going to upgrade and the location of the Helm chart. Let's uh, try to upgrade. And we're gonna see that it's not gonna provide any output right now, so it will wait for one minute. And under the status, we can see that we just provided the wrong version of the application and it's not gonna um, be able to upgrade it successfully. So for one minute, it will try to pull that wrong version of the Nginx. In one minute, it will verify that it's not able to upgrade it and roll back all the changes. It will delete the app and everything related to this Helm release. Let's wait a little bit more. 15, 20 seconds. All right, so it's almost one minute, 60 seconds, and it should give us, okay, yeah, we can see that it was terminated and the Helm gave us the response that upgrade failed and uh, everything was uh, reverted back. And that's pretty much it for this video. And if you like this video, you can watch another my video where I explain Helm dependencies, uh, that there are three ways how you can define those dependencies, how you can depend on different charts. So thanks for watching. Bye.